Hi, it's Joe with Crick Flex, and I am going to finally, I keep threatening to do a layout, and I'm uh, finally going to do it. And I do decided, so I, I do decided, I did decide I will introduce myself at every video. Uh, the feedback at my last video was pretty much hands down vote for me to say who I am every time. I start a video so that's what I shall do and guys I'm doing a Disney layout here I'm not real sure what I'm going to do yet because I just grabbed some pictures of a bunch of junk so let me move my iPad over here somewhere whole entire family was over today because my husband calls and invites everybody over to eat which is fine and dandy but whoa, whoa, whoa. when they're all here it, it's a lot and um, so I try and hide for part of the time so, so I don't have to breathe in a paper sack because the kids you know they have the time of their life but there is nothing left standing and when they are you know and the big kids aren't any better than the little kids they're just so anyway, I've been uh, trying to get a bunch of stuff done here. I did go down. I don't make, make it sound like, I shouldn't make it sound like I didn't go down and eat and, and all of that. But in small spurts because they are a wild bunch. Wild bunch. Try to sort here and see which ones I'm going to put on which layout. Is there going to be, I, I don't know if I said it, but Disney. If I didn't say it, I repeat myself, but... That's not uncommon either. Okay, guys, I think I know what pictures I'm going to use. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to do it. The paper stack that I grabbed is <clears throat> this Disney and Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. This one had the ticket on it. Uh, great, great paper stack. It's got 150 sheets in it. And great papers because they've got a lot of, uh, of the the old movies in here. Winnie the Pooh. Really, really nice paper. Love it. Um, the only thing, and I've mentioned this on numerous videos, but again, not everybody's seen all of my videos, so I'm repeating myself. It's okay. These pack, stack packs, the only thing, the only complaint that I have is the paper's very, very thin. I think these are all from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they are. They're all Disney. And whenever they have them on sale, I just grabbed three because I'm working on Disney-only pages. Um, so I took three of these out of my my stash of paper. I have every one that I find that's Disney I buy. And the books also are Disney. The scrapbooks. Okay. This is a four-piece, four-inch piece of black glitter paper. And then I took my Martha Stewart punch, which was this one, and punched each side of this four inch piece. Then I took the mini print paper, because this is going to be mainly of the girls, um, my three granddaughters. Um, let me see here. Where were they all standing? Oh, they're right here my three granddaughters in this picture you'll see it when I do a close-up of the layout had matching Minnie Mouse dresses on they dressed alike every day that we were in Disney it was cute to sing so that's why I picked this paper because of the outfits that they had on here so guys I'm winging it here because I have no no idea how I'm gonna lay this out one of my tape guns is sticking really bad I shouldn't say one of them this one that I can hardly get the tape applied and I've gone through it everywhere to see if there's tape stuck on the mechanism or whatever and I'm finding nothing but I won't let it win I'm gonna just keep using it in spite of it oh the paper that I picked was this polka dot with mini down here and then this one here in the black and white stripe with mini down here. When I'm all done, I'm going to enhance mini. Don't know yet how I'm going to do. And I cut out 
some little black bows for something that I did, but I don't remember what, and I had some left over, so I decided to use these um, on the page too. Don't know how yet, but I'll get it. I will get it. Um, let me see what I'm going to do. Well, how do I want to put this? I don't want to cover everywhere where it says mini, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to cover where it says mini. I want to, I love this black and white stripe because it goes with this paper, so I'm going to do it. Guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this black and white stripe ribbon that I also got you on one of my hauls from, this came from Michael's. And I'm going to add it to the center of this black glitter. Again, my reason is that it goes perfect. Now you have to pull it really tight because this one's got wire on the the um, ribbon has got wire on the edges. So to make it lay straight, I want to pull it really, really tight. And there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Then I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of tape here. Cut this end up. My poor um, Ranger's scissors are getting dull. I'm so heartbroken because, well, I bought another pair, but I still don't want to get dull. And again, I did use this ribbon because I like it with this. And this has the hearts on it that match these hearts. So this kind of, um, it, uh, what do I want to say? What's the word I want to use? Come on, throw it out there for me, guys. Um, supports. I would say supports. One of my videos when I was talking about if you're starting a business, making sure that you have a ton of element stock and stock papers and um, uh, embellishments. Making sure you have a ton of everything because it makes your life a whole lot easier. This is a perfect example. That's what I was looking for because I have so much of this stuff, it makes it really easy for me to, to scrapbook because I have so much of everything. This was not also another scrap that when I was messing around with my, uh, what's that big old thing called? Big tank, put your hand crank, spellbinder. Can't stand that thing. But I was doing a test run on a cut and I cut this out and never used it. So I decided to make YouTube use of it now and I'm just going to add it add it anywhere oh there we go and I will slide this under this border maybe come on slide under because it there we go just put that there it's so funny because after I get everything layered on my paper, yeah, you can't see my paper anymore, but um, it makes it nice and thick. Oh, and I had a mini that I was going to put over here that's kind of like her. But let me see. i got to put pictures on here first. I've got to do that before I start adding anything else. Um, was this the one that I picked? This one was a mini outfit. Do I want that? And... This was what Kendall ended up dressing as a gypsy after we went over the the makeover for the princess and she didn't have hair. This is the hair that they had to work with when we went and they were trying to bobby pin a crown in her hair. That was not working at all. Um, I can't believe that she was even trying to do that. I don't know what she was thinking, how she was going to bobby pin that in there. but. Minnie, I am so sorry, but you know what? I'm not even going to enhance you. I'm going to cover you up because you are in the way. So, guys, I'm going to use my own mini. I'm not even going to use the one that's on this paper because I need... I don't have enough room. Once I throw everything on there, I don't have room for her. That's okay. I usually cover up any of the prints on the paper anyway. 
I prefer on any of my paper prints I like just print to paper my open stock whatever I don't like anything with um, this kind of picture on it I don't know I just don't like it personal pers nothing but a personal my personal taste I do not like it so to cover it up um, does not make me feel bad Ugh, this gun I'm gonna have to go out and buy a, another tape gun. That thing is, I'll have my husband take it apart. He's such a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Used to be anyway. Not so much anymore. There we go. I'm gonna put that one right there. And then, this is the one all of Papa and my, pr oh, my precious Isabel. My precious, precious Isabelle. Mile a minute, Isabel. Oh my gosh, this girl. Only two, two and a half. She talks about Disney every single day. And every day, she says, Nama, I want your phone. I want your phone. I want Disney. I want your phone. She wants to watch YouTube videos of Disney on my phone. I want your phone. She's so funny. But she loved Disney. Unbelievable how, how into it she was at such a young age. Okay, I'm going to put this mini over here then. That's what we're going to do. Hot. You know, all the stuff burning all day in my, in my office. Uh, it's a little heated in here. You're unbelievably warm though because it's like 37 degrees out. Um, and it's well, it's the last of January, but even so, typically January is our coldest month, and the first month we even had snow, really, and it's unseasonably warm. So everybody came over to go hot tubbing, and poor Kendall didn't go. She can't go in the hot tub for another, well, until next year, until she's completely done with her treatment. Um, she wasn't real happy about that. She was trying to convince her mom to let her go and she wouldn't go in up higher than her port. And I didn't even think of it, but my daughter had said it didn't matter about the port. It was um, if she had any open scratches, um, a hangnail, anything where there was an uh, open skin, broken skin, she can get an infection because hot tubs are, really have a lot of bacteria. And so, um, I think I'm gonna put this right over her because I don't want her anyway. So, anyway, she, I thought she was gonna be able to put her feet in there, but thankfully she called her mom because I would have said, oh yeah, go ahead and just put your feet in there. Right now with all the chemo she's on, she has, her immune system is so shut down. They had said no hot tub at all for at least um, uh, until she's done with everything which is another 13 months 13 months she'll be done with all of this this nightmare you saw her a little earlier peek her head in um, all my kids were over in, in Amy's Doug was here with his kids, and Kennedy is 11, but her and Kendall just get along so well. I'm not going to put the ribbon on this one because this has got the stripe right here, so I'm not going to add this one. But they get along so good. So they went downstairs to the, the office that we built for them quite a while ago that they never, Amy, Kendall won't use, but she would today because she had somebody to to scrapbook so her and Kennedy went down there to do scrapbooking and um, that was why I said I had to come up and come into my office because they had everything I also have a, a cedar chest down there that has all of my kids uh, dance outfits from their dance when they were little girls my daughters um, their baby blankets, all their Halloween costumes, all of that stuff is in a cedar chest downstairs. And 
when I went down, the kids liked to get into the cedar chest and play dress up and put on the costumes for my daughters when they were in dance classes. And so they had completely emptied the cedar chest all over the floor and emptied all of the stuff for the scrapbooking all over the floor. I mean, it looked like a bomb went off. And I said, oh, I can't, I can't handle this. I'm at an age now where I'm a neat freak, kind of uh, overboard neat freak. And so I had to come. I couldn't stay down there. I had to come back up. My daughter said, we cleaned. Before they left, she said, we cleaned. And I'm like, oh. Okay. I knew the minute they left, I had to go down there and do what we call really pick it up. So, and it's one of those things, guys. It's, it's not something that's important, and I need to learn to not care and not let it get to me because anything like that is just takes 10 minutes to pick up. I don't think it was that as much as the, sometimes I can't watch things because I, I get, they make me very nervous. My kids are wild. They're just wild. My grandkids are, my son had Doug's little boy who's eight downstairs in another level, a lower level. And I went down there and he was on top of them tickling him. And I, I, they get so carried away that I'm so afraid somebody's going to get hurt. That comes with age, guys. Man, my mom was like, like that, really strange with things like that. Now I'm learning. It's just, man, when you get old, <laughs> things make you nervous. Flying off the couches and, and doing all these things, and I can't watch them. I get so, somebody's going to get hurt. But man, when my kids were little, <laughs> you not pay any attention to any of that. Of course, I had four of them, so I probably... I'm going to put dreams really do come true on there. Dreams really do come true. And... Popped up to thought. Oh, man, I keep hitting my knuckle on my... Oh, now it's bleeding. That's the third time in a row reaching for my waste basket. I jammed my... or hit my knuckle on the edge of my... Um, Chet Max here. I'm going to have to get, I really am going to have to get workman's comp for myself. Wow. Unbelievable how much I damage myself. Holy schmoles. Whoops. I suppose I should stand up to do this one because I got it hanging off the edge. Let's try this again. I'm bleeding. Okay, now I got these little bows that I took off to add to the papers. And what did I do? I know I had another one. Found it. Found it. My grandbaby's new do next week. You saw Jenna a little bit earlier on the video. If you saw all my videos from today. And she wants to go now. And when I look at her, I'm thinking, who? Man, I'd want to go now, too. I think she's going to have a big baby. And I'm going to add these. Where do I want to put them? Oh. I tell you, my kids made some cute babies here. Huh? Huh? I'm going to add, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the bow right on top of Kendall's head. She looked like she had a little mini bow on. Uh-oh. Runaway pop dot. Then, did I have some more bows? I'm going to check and see if I have some more bows over here in my stash. I'm going to see if they're all bows were from. I don't know where I got them out of. Minnie 
colors in every color. No bow in there. That wasn't it. I know they're not in here. Oh, I might grab one of these minis. <laughs> oh, I got a die cut or two here. At least. I might use one of those on there. All of the characters. What do I got here? She's in pink there. I don't want pink. I don't know where I got the bows out of, guys. See, this is why. Oh, there's I see one. This is why it's pretty easy and goes pretty quickly for me. Uh, this is quick, guys. This is quick. But here's a bow. Uh, is because I have so much stash of everything that I use. I just have so much of it. I never cut out something where I don't fill the entire sheet of paper. I don't believe in wasting it. And that's not waste, all that that you see. It gets used. Everything gets used. However, I don't think I have anywhere to put her. Unless I just kind of stick her right in here. Mini. Do I want to do that? No, I'm not going to put her in there. I'm not. I'm going to leave it like that. But I do want to put a gem. No, 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 no. Not gem. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a red glitter right in the middle of each one of these bows. That looks kind of like a gem. And then I think I'm going to take some glitter. Yep, I'm going to turn this page upside down because I'm going to take and just put a little bit of glitter accents on the dream stump do come true. I can outline the whole thing because that would be a little bit tedious and just gonna put some touches in here there we go that's all I'm going to do on that and I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger there we go didn't quite match the other ones and that little bit just was enough for me. Let me see. On her, I'm going to add a little glitter to Minnie's outfit. I'm a glitter freak, guys. What can I say? I love what glitter does to a page. I love it. Okay, and I got the little glitter hearts. And we're going to call this one done. And then we'll be on to the next. But I don't think I'm doing any more videos today. I am done. I'm done tired now. Okay. I think that's it. Everybody have a good night. And more than likely, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.